hey what's going on guys welcome back to a brand new video in this video i'll show you guys how you can make a shirt like this and upload it to roblox to earn yourself some robux you can customize it to however you want it to look but yeah let's get right into the video so this is the shirt that i made before on my group you can check it out if you want but i'm just gonna show you guys how to make a better version of this so yeah first of all you need to use a photo editing software i'm just gonna use photoshop for this but if you don't have photoshop it's all right you can use photo p that's the best i mean that is free and also really good and almost as same as photoshop so yeah I will recommend you use photo P so just go go to Google and search for photo P and as you can see photo P online photo editor just click the first link so after it loads in you will see something like this and almost pretty much as the same as Photoshop so to create new project you need to tap new but yeah and you can change the properties like the canvas size here it's pretty cool you can check it out yourself but yeah let's go on to photoshop so first you need to make a new project and set the size set the width of the canvas to 585 and the height should be 559 so yeah call it anything you want i'm just gonna call it shirt tutorial and then hit create and it will see something like this so the next step is to get your template now you can use any shirt templates you want as long as it's the same as the canvas size so for this tutorial i'm gonna use my own template that i made before you can use any other template as long as it's the same size as the canvas I'll also show you guys how you can make a transparent template so just go to Google and search for Roblox shirt template and here you will you will find this dev forum link just click on it and then you will see both the shirts and pants just click on the shirt then click copy image and then control V on the keyboard to paste it into the Photoshop and then select the rectangle select tool and just select the colored parts and then do control X and it should remove those But yeah, if you guys want to skip all of this and get get this transparent template right now, then I will leave a link to this in the description. You can go and download from there. It will be a Google Drive link. But yeah, and the next step is there is a white background in my canvas. So I'm just going to unlock it and press delete on my keyboard and it will be removed now the tra the template is transparent so again i'm gonna log the template so i don't select it by accident and then and then what you have to do is to go to google again and search for tech pattern and you will find stuff like these so yeah that's what we need so just select one and then copy image and do the same control V to paste it into the Photoshop and then I'm gonna remove this and then you have to create a texture so just select it and then pre hit alt on your keyboard and then just drag the the image so it will be duplicated automatically 
and just do the same okay so now I'm gonna select all the layers and then press ctrl E to merge them together okay so yeah I fixed that and now I merged again at first we need to create the basic layer of the shirt so for this I'm gonna select the rectangle tool and make a shape it's gonna be full sleeve so yeah make sure you cover up the hands but if you wanna do half sleeve then you can do that too okay let's actually make the texture smaller so it looks it looks better yeah that probably looks better so now I'm just gonna match it to the black rectangle you can also do control I mean you can also right click on the layer and do create clipping mask so it will do that automatically but uh, I'll just do it manually for this video I will have to cut out this part of the texture with the rectangle select tool and then press ctrl x to cut it out um, I gotta redo that just like this and then now we can move it so the cut is at the center and then we also have to cut the hand so just select them and then control X to cut the hand parts and then so the background black t-shirt looks too basic so to make it look like a shirt I'm gonna search for white t-shirt so you will find a bunch of these t-shirt you wanna find something like this then copy and then paste again make it small control T to you know make it bigger or smaller by the way I forgot to tell that and then I'm gonna select the rectangle select tool again and cut out this middle part of the shirt so just the wave pattern with the shirt texture and then the layer should be below the texture layer okay so then what you have to do is select that layer and then go to the uh, I mean these are the blending modes of it so just click on that and then do overlay and as you can see it it got a nice t-shirt wavy pattern on the on the black t-shirt in the background so yeah that's what we needed and now I can duplicate this and by the way I need to do I need to create clipping mask for it and then just duplicate it and place it on all of these okay so looks good so far oh just make it overlay again okay done so let's see what else I added in my shirt so as you can see there's a text thing in the middle of the shirt so yeah just a nice design okay we don't need to search actually just select the text tool and then select a good stylish font let's do this and let's type anything random blue diamond and yeah just make the color white so people can actually see it and then put it below the the red texture uh, layer so yeah as you can see we got a nice text it actually looks pretty good to be honest so yeah I'm not gonna use any locket but 
yeah let's do the shading thing so you're gonna search for roblox shirt shading and you will find this type of stuff so just copy one and it is not actually transparent so you gotta make sure that the one that you're picking is transparent so yeah this one's transparent so I actually need to save the image this time and then get it from my file so yeah after getting it just resize it to your shirt template and make sure it's above all all layers and also make sure you cut out these shade parts because it's just gonna make the hand part look dirty like black shaded so yeah you don't want that so just remove them and boom we got our shading and this is what this is what it looks like without shading and this with shading so yeah definitely looks pretty good and yeah let's actually merge it with the red texture and then you need to select you need to right click on the rectangle select tool and select the uh, you know circle select tool and just make a circle right here and then do control X you can use a little bit of this tool just like this as you can see you can fix it just by using a little bit of the the eraser tool yeah sorry my bad let's actually create a circle here for the perfect shape then control x and now yeah that's perfect i think we're pretty much done with it yeah oh yeah oh, one more last thing guys what you have to do is select the round i mean circle shape tool and get a a bit brighter color than red and just create a color like this oh no wait first you have to actually merge the like the t-shirt texture with the black background and also merge it with the red so yeah everything is merged now and now if you create clipping mask like this yeah it looks pretty good but something like this i think so this looks fine i think and now to save it you can you can go to file and then export as just click it and then yeah you can export it to wherever you want so yeah i'm just gonna export it in my files and now let's upload it and see how it looks okay so to upload a shirt you need to go to create i'm gonna upload it on my group so i'm just gonna go group creation and then find shirts and as you can see i've made quite a lot of shirts before um you can check them out if you want to so then you need to click choose file and then select the shirt that you just made and I don't have a name for it yet so let's just call it red plate shirt version 2 because I already made one before so yeah it costs you 10 robux to upload a shirt so would you like to upload your shirt for 10 robux sure just confirm it and shirt successfully created now roblox is going to review the shirt and a few moments later after they approve it you should be able to put it on sale and also wear it
so yeah let's just wait one eternity later okay guys so after quite a lot of time as you can see it it's done moderated and now you can actually go to configure this and put it on sale for how much robux you want let's do seven robux so i can get five robux on each sale and doesn't look that bad to be honest um if you try it on so yeah as you can see it doesn't have any glitches or anything like that it looks absolutely fine and the color also works but because of my hood it's I mean I can't see it because of my hood but yeah it's pretty good I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope this tutorial helps you make shirt and sell them for robux and get yourself some good amount of robux you know so yeah if you did enjoy then please smash that like and subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next one peace out